okay, so it's been a while. And we want to look at REST systems for this video. And basically, we want to see how you can add Ionic framework. So it's a small, it's just a small video on how you can add Ionic framework to your project. So Ionic is basically this. Um, so if you want to use Ionic components, all the components which are available for Ionic, these, these really nice looking components, you want to use capacitor in your project, maybe you don't want the default ones, so we can add Ionic in our project very easily. So let's go to RAS systems. I use Node and Prime View, and I'm going to create a new project, and you're going to call it Ionic RAD. RAD. All right, so let's go ahead and look at uh, something very simple. Fast, 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 uh, speed run, create. We're supposed to create this for us so we're just interested in looking at how to create uh, the whole thing so those who are coming from sort of low so mostly i use run system to build no code apps for the front end but also i use it to create uh, apis so inside run systems you notice they have something called custom endpoints so you can create your own api and expose it so you can call it test api so uh, no, it will just give you an endpoint where you can use in your side of your project in case you don't want to use Firebase. So it's pretty much uh, easy to use. And yeah, so as we wait for the project to load, we should be in a few minutes. So let's go ahead and see what we have here. Right. So our project is going to be generated inside our node project, so it's Ionic CRUD. So I want to open this project inside my code editor. So I use this code editor here. I'm just going to open a new folder and you're going to go Ionic CRUD, select folder. So now that we have this uh, file generated, as you can see the project is updated from the backend, we're going to open a new terminal inside the project. So in case you're not using uh, let me open up terminal. In case you're not using Visual Studio Code, how you open a terminal, you can go to your Ionic project here and navigate to the front end and you're going to type here CMD. So once you type CMD, it should open a terminal for you. For the front end, not, you're not doing the installation on this page, you're doing it on the front end for this situation well, because we are installing Ionic in the front end. So we're going to go to Ionic and Normally, we are in ionic.com, uh, this page. We want to go to Docs and go to Guide. And we have Package uh, and CDN. So we're going to go to Package and CDN, scroll down to where we have Vue.js, and you're going to install this. So we already have Vue Router installed for us with, uh, in Flutter, in Rust system, so we don't need Vue right Router. And I'm going to go to my terminal and I'm going to paste it here. So I'm going to install Ionic in my application. So this is already ready. So now if we go to our RAD systems app, we have it here. So this is our RAD system project. So this is the default, how it comes in default, by default. And you have several themes you can change here. But this is for when you really don't need the themes. So normally I use Tailwind. Uh, we are installing Ionic, so assuming you don't like the default themes, you want to work with Ionic themes and uh, what have you. So this is when you would use it. So I'm going to go and check the progress of our installation. So Ionic has been installed successfully, but now that is not it. We need to do something else here. So let me do something real quick. I'm going to go to components and I want to show you how it's going to be working. Now maybe I want this, uh, sorry, not, uh, I'll go to Ionic bottom sheet where you, when you click it, it should open a bottom sheet inside your application. So I'm going to go to view and I want to see the code for the view. I'm going to copy this, this code, copy it the way it is. And I'm going to install it in my front end. So how we do it in Flutterflow, in sorry, not Flutterflow, RAS systems, I'm going to go to the home page, a new section, and I'm going to add a custom view, and I'm going to add that here. So the reason I'm doing this is because I'm I'm assuming that I'm assuming that you're not you will not be using 
uh, I'm not going to be editing the code in the code editor, but inside Rust systems, so I'm going to copy that. Down here, they're saying you need to do something small. So we need to import the, um, we need to import what we are using, which in our case is this. So I'm going to go um, custom JavaScript and paste it here. Remember, we have already installed Ionic. So in case you find an error, it's most likely you have not installed Ionic. Now the second one, we are going to go down here and put the uh, variable which is holding our Ionic bottom sheet so click on this don't copy everything just copy the array this array don't copy everything because we're using TypeScript and we're using setup uh, so we're going to go to our project here paste it here click OK and publish then we're going to go back our, on our into our project and you, you notice we have this this button which is not working because we have not yet installed Ionic so you see it's not really working fine so we're going to now go and follow the steps where it says you need to import Ionic in our main.js file. So this file is never regenerated by RAD system. So you are safe to put it here. So you're going to go to your front end and you're going to look for main.js inside the source folder. Uh, sorry, not source folder. Yeah, inside the source folder you find main.js now I'm going to come down here and you can say import ionic from here so we're going to paste that there now one more thing we still need to do is so don't worry about this this is already taken care of by our system so the next we need to do is make the app to use ionic so you're just going to copy this which is the way it is and you're going to come here and say uh, app.use but we are not yet imported the app, created the app variable. So you're going to go up to where it's created down here. So you're going to do this uh, app dot use uh, Ionic. There you go. So we are done with that. Now the last step is to install the CSS for the whole thing. So we need to go back on top uh, on the CSS and you're going to copy everything that you have here and come back here where we have the CSS imports and we're going to paste it inside there so we're going to paste it over here so we're just going to go up to where we have uh, this guy paste it in there so remember the CSS we're also doing it in the main.js file now if we go to our front end app you notice that now the Ionic is imported successfully now you can run these things here so you can try another Ionic component and see if it works. So you can go to Ionic alert, uh, click me, it brings an alert. So we're going to copy that button, Ionic button and Ionic alert, copy it, and you're going to paste it inside our front head. So come to this front head button. And let's create a new one. Let's say Ionic alert publish and we should have another button so it says there's something missing so you always inspect the error and see what the error is so let's see on the console it says set attribute element but that's not valid attribute name right so let's see what the issue might be all right so the issue is we are using angular component instead of a view component so we're going to come here and we are going to copy this for view Copy this. Let's see. Well, which I think is just the same thing actually. Right. But now uh, I don't expect it to work still because of one more thing. Oh, interesting. It's working. But we have not yet imported most of the things from here. So click on it. So it's not working. So we need to import the alert. So click on this, import, copy it, then go here, custom JavaScript, and we're just going to append it, uh, prepend it here. Make sure you don't re-import things that you have already imported earlier. So there you go, and there we go. So you can go ahead and have fun with Ionic and all that stuff, see what you can do with it, and yeah, that should be it.